did you ever feel like you weren't going to make it out of there at a point? Because, you know, we can't get into everything today, but I do know like pretty much everything about your story. So I know that you quit for a little bit and yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So did you feel like you might not have like been able to achieve that dream at some point? Oh, um, or did you always so, yeah, so, hold out hope? So when I, so this is a beautiful thing about, you know, uh, my grandmother, right? She never said I couldn't do something, right? She just said, you know, she might not agree with everything I do, but she like, shit, if you're going to do it, be the best at it. I don't, she didn't care what it was, just be the best at it. And one of those things that I chose to be was a fighter. And, like, she never said, and, and never, never to me that, you know, that that's something that uh, I couldn't be able to do. And I feel like, you know, for a lot of kids, you know, when it comes to their parents or their guardian, you know, their guardian tell them what they can't do because it's something that they couldn't do back in the past, something that they... You know, when they was younger, you know, they had a dream to do, but they couldn't, you know, figure it out. So now they telling their young ones that they can't do it. Right. I feel like that's that's a detriment on a lot of young lives. And uh, for me, I feel like as time went on, I had to learn the hard way. I had to progress in, in life and, and, and learn through these you know, difficult triumphs. But when I slowed up on the dream. Right. And it's not that I gave up. Right. I gave up chasing the dream. I still stay committed in training because it's what I love to do, right? So instead of me trying to, like, get paid and make money and be, you know, famous one day, I said, bro, I'm just going to do this for me, right? So I gave up on chasing the dream, and I just stayed dis uh, obedient to the discipline what I was doing, which was training, because I felt like that was keeping my sanity. Because I felt like, you know, uh, certain people was keeping me uh, uh, pretty much, uh, what's the word, black blacklisted from fighting. I couldn't get no fights. I couldn't do anything. So instead of just having anger in my heart and feeling like I got to retaliate physically, which only going to leave me worse, right? Dead in jail type shit. Let me just keep training, man, and, and get my mind off of trying to trying to make riches and just become better and become a better individual. And guess what? That dream came to me. It's like when you're chasing that girl, you keep chasing. She's going to keep like whatever. But when you start ignoring her, she's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> what you up to, right? She gonna start, you know what I mean? Trying to holler at you now. So it's the same thing with that. And I feel like uh, a lot of people they they focus too much on uh, on what they can get from the dream instead of actually just focusing on uh, the journey and the destination on getting there type shit, right? Because that's all that matters. Because once all this is said and done and this shit is over with and they never calling me for interviews no more, I'm going to remember these days and, and miss this shit, right? No, yeah, so for sure. I would I would assume so for you guys. You know, it only lasts for so mm -hmm. long. So getting the interviews right. and like the attention, I guess you want to make the most of it while you can. But for those that don't know too, and we're not going to get into all of it. I don't think it's the right timing for it all. But that guy, Jesse Finney, was kind of like extorting you in a way and all that stuff. So, And then your grandma- <laughs> we, cool, we cool now, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, you know, well, you, 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 <laughs> I won't go in on uh, it, but, but your grandma but, I mean, was sick but, and stuff, and so that's why you—that's why you weren't fighting for people who might assume that you just like quit. It wasn't because of that. You had an issue with your gym owner, and then your grandma got sick. You had to go get a job to like yeah, pay yeah. pay the bills for your grandma. So yeah. just so people can understand you, because I don't think people like know these things, you know. Yeah. And so, aside from the fighter, these are things that kind of like make you a fighter. I feel like. Well, I, I appreciate you because I'll be honest with you, I don't like to highlight stuff like that. Right? That's why, yeah, that's so, why I'm saying it. But yeah, I, I appreciate it. Um, but my thing is, for me, it's just like you got to take care of your responsibilities. You know that the people that cared about you from the beginning, those are people that's you know that you got to take care of. Um, so you know, my grandmother, when it when it came to that situation, like you know, I ain't cry about it. I ain't get upset about it. I just did what I had to do in order to you know what I mean provide for her still provide for us still to this day, you know, uh, have my auntie who takes care of her uh, full time. Uh, but, you know, I take care of everything. So, like I said, when I say them 50 K's be meaning a lot to me, they do, bro. And uh, I, I really like my, my biggest dreams since we speaking about it is like, I want to build a house for my grandmother, you know, because of her condition. I want to build up a house for her. And uh, I, I think like the only way I can do that is by staying active, bro, and getting the fights that's needed in order to become a world champion. And I know I can make that happen. I know I can make that happen. Yeah, and that'll be cool. You once told me though, when we first started speaking, you were like, "I'm planning on moving out of St. Louis." Have you have you changed your oh, heart? Do you want yeah, to stay there and uh, fix it up eventually, now? Eventually, eventually. Well, I'm, okay. about, I'm probably be out of Merck. <laughs> <laughs> Good.
go live so, <laughs> somewhere with you. Yeah. You're going to get you on an island somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, though, I wanted to ask, does because I've heard somewhere where your grandma texts you and says things before your fights. Does she say anything about this one at all? Uh, my, my grandmother, Bonnie. So that's my other grandmother from uh, Texas. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she texts me uh, Bible verses and stuff like that. So she did. Well, she didn't text me beforehand, but she texted me afterwards just saying congrats uh, uh, about my fight. Yep, over uh, Vicente Luque. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. no motivation or anything like that. Just a congratulations. Well, you see, always in the Bible verses for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my, my granny really in the Bible. She really into it, you know. So so she in it for me. I say that, you know, I might not be in that book, but she in there just long enough for me. So I'm yeah. good. <laughs> Why'd you post Matthew 7 7 then if you're not in the Bible? Because <laughs> I thought it, I thought it'd be great because he did that. Uh, I see, I see. Is that the same one? <laughs> That wasn't the same one, right? No, it was a different. It was a different verse. Okay, it was a different verse. You know, but just because he did that, and I was like, man, I might as well. You know what I mean? So, you know, ask and, and you know, and you still receive. But I do believe, I do, I believe in those type of things, right? I, like I said, I might not be big on the scripture, but I just believe in like manifesting things. Like that's not just in the Bible. That's in everything. That's in life. That's in the universe. If you tell yourself over and over again, like where you gonna be or, or who you gonna be like the universe is going to talk to you right back. And then especially if you work towards those things, like those vibrations, those energies that you're going to get right back, um, to come right back to you. That's why, you know, I, I do believe in, you know, no karma and shit like that. Like the things that you do outside of your, you know, your life, no matter what it is, good, positive, it's going to come right back to you at all times. Right. So you got to be careful. Yeah. And uh, I think you manifested quite a bit with this last one. So hopefully you can keep it going there. <laughs> 